Hello folks, Joel Turner here again with Iron Mind Hunting. Today we're talking again about the ever-present problem of target panic. I travel the country, I am honored to travel the country and do shooting clinics for all sorts of folks, compound shooters, longbow shooters, recurve shooters, self-bow shooters. Doesn't matter what equipment you are dealing with or what equipment you shoot, the thing that matters is what system do you use? What mental system do you use in your training? And I get this question all the time. It's not really a question, it's a statement. People will tell me, okay, here's what's happening in my shop. Because one of my first questions to them is, walk me through, or statement that I make to them is, walk me through one of your shots. And they tell me very specific things about all of the movements in their shot except for the one that matters the most. They tell me all about their grip and their string gripper, what release they shoot, what sight they shoot, all these things, how they stand, how they draw the bow. They tell me about their entire shot sequence, but they leave out the most important thing, which is shot activation or their shot activation movement. And so I ask them if they are, are you having any problems in your shot? And they say, yeah, Joel, I'm having this problem in my shot. I draw back my compound bow, and I know it's 40 yards, but I can't get my 40-yard pin on the target. It's locked underneath the target. And they say, you know, if I've got my finger on the trigger, I just can't quite get it there, and I end up jumping to the target. And then I seem to punch the trigger all at the same time. Or they'll tell me, I can put my 40-yard pin on the target, but I have to keep my finger behind the trigger. And then if you watch them shoot, they come up around that trigger like a rattlesnake ready to strike, and they whack that trigger. All things that are forms of target panic. Or in traditional archery, that archer tells me, you know, Joel, I'm there, and I, I, I pre-aim my bow, and I start to draw my bow back, and I get just a few inches in front of my face, and I'm really trying to get back to anchor. But I just can't quite get there. And it might be a, a big, huge fella. 30 inch draw length, but he's shooting 24 inches of draw length? That's nonsense. We don't have to do that, folks. Or we get that trad archer that's locked off target as well, as I used to be. Heck, folks, I used to have to aim like six feet over a target. And then I just drop my bow in at the moment of truth. It was a nightmare. So people tell me, here's what's happening to me. And it's all the same things around the country, around the world. I've talked to folks in lots of different countries. Here's what's happening to me. Either they're locked off target, they're punching the trigger, or they can't quite get the full draw or they can't get into their back muscles like they would want to. Again, that question is, do I have target panic? Well, if those movements, if you cannot control those things that they tell me are happening in their shot, they have no way to control them, then yes, you are dealing with target panic shot anticipation. You are a human being, so therefore your mind learns with a certain process. So again, what training have you taken to get you out of these things? What have you learned? I can tell you that I've learned certain things in my archery career. When I first started shooting a bow when I was seven, had absolutely nobody to teach me how to do it. I just knew you drew back and kind of pointed out there and let it go. Then I started shooting a compound with sights. That was even easier, right? Draw back, put the pin on it, press the trigger on a release, or let it go with your fingers. Pretty easy, right? But then it progressed. I practiced. The more I practiced, the worse I got. The more efficient I got, but the worse I got as far as accuracy goes. I was in the hold of target panic. And I didn't know how to get out of it. So again, if you've taken any training you have to ask yourself very specific questions in that training. Does it teach me what to do? 
or does it teach me how to do it? There are a lot of instructors out there that teach the how, but if you that teach the what, excuse me. They teach the what. What should I what should I do? Well, you need to just draw your bow back and then you need to just some people say just shoot the bow, right? Well, how do I do that? Your instruction has got to be integrated with the mental processes of how your mind actually works under stress. If in your training you have to keep returning to the cognitive stage, by that it would mean in your training let's say that you do a bunch of blank bail shooting or blind bail shooting and then you go out and you shoot some 3D tournaments, maybe you go hunting and then things tend to fall apart again. And then what do you do? You go back to blank bail or blind bail shooting. You're trying to take this automatic shot and bring it back to the cognitive stage. But if you don't know how to do that, you're constantly going to be in this cycle of learning. Bring it back to cognitive, learn very quickly, fall off the train, then go back to cognitive, and it's just going to keep rotating for your entire life until you learn how to derail that train. You have to learn how to think, not just what to think about. You have to learn the decisions that need to be made, when to make those decisions, and how to carry those decisions out. Again, these are all the things that we're going to bring you at Iron Mind Hunting. But how are we going to bring them to you? Again, I travel all over the country and do clinics, but not everybody can come to a clinic. And those folks that are in other countries, are they going to cross the pond to come on over? I sure wish they would. But what we have provided for them now is an online course. This online course is as good as it gets to having me right there with you, talking you through this entire science of how to do your business, doing all the demonstrations that are needed, asking all the right questions to get you to think about your own process and where are you in your process. Folks, I'm pretty proud of this online course. It came out fantastic. It is the product that I've always wanted to do. And we're bringing it to you here at Iron Mind Hunting. So you can go to the website ironmindhunting.com and sign up for this online course. At the end of this course, you will know how to shoot a perfect arrow under stress over and over and over again. Being Having control of your shot is a very powerful thing. Imagine when that buck or the bull of a lifetime is coming in and you have a very specific blueprint on how it's going to go. You know it's going to go well. You know that you are going to shoot a controlled arrow because you know exactly how to do it. And you have practiced your concentration. It's a very powerful thing, folks, that we're bringing to you here at Iron Mind Hunting. Thank you.